Hello, Diocese of the Rio Grande. I'm here with Jose Juan, Padre JJ, and he, as you know, is our diocesan Latino Hispanic missioner. He's also doing a lot of work on the border. And just now, as the situation is changing in terms of how the administration is processing asylum seekers, there's some important new things that are happening. So, uh, Padre JJ, what have you been up to in the last few weeks with our partners Ooh. in Ciudad Juarez? Hi, Diocese. Well, uh, currently the diocese has been engaged in, with our partners, the Anglican Church in Ciudad Juarez. Padre uh, Hector Trejo, he is in charge of three congregations, uh, Espíritu Santo, San Matias, and also San Jose. Uh, he opened a uh, shelter in a joint effort with uh, one pastor from the Presbyterian Church. Uh, they are working with our Cuban community and um, they are providing basic uh, shelter, food, and uh, they also are working not in um, immigration cases, but just taking people to the Mexican, I mean, I'm sorry, U.S. Embassy in Ciudad Juarez. Um, they start to have for 500 to 1,000 people per week in Juarez. They are currently about 13 shelters and uh, including the, the one in, in uh, San Matthias Church and with the Anglican Church. And um, it's a lot of work to do. We need prayers. We need uh, uh, strength in our spirit. So we are appealing to you to pray for us too. Yeah. So, so I, I want to make sure that I'm understanding exactly what's happening. In the past, asylum seekers would come across the border and then they would be, they would be allowed to stay in the United States in mm -hmm. order uh, to wait for their court date for the yeah. asylum seekers coming through. Now, mm -hmm. because of the stay in Mexico policy, those same asylum seekers are being asked to wait in Juarez and um, Matamoros and Nogales, mm -hmm. uh, primarily mm -hmm. uh, the cities where there's a consulate, uh, and, and they're waiting for court dates. So, That's right. uh, whereas we, at, uh, in the diocese, we would shelter people for three, maybe four days, and then get them onto a sponsoring family in the U.S. where they would wait for their court date. Now, all of those same people, the buses aren't coming to here anymore, they're being dropped off in Juarez. And so, all of the people, regardless of what country they're coming from, if they have, if they're a legal asylum seeker with a court date in the U.S., they're now waiting in Juarez, uh, and, and it's, it's going to be months before their court dates, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, in the past, it was about 45 days, which was a, a good term of time. And now, they are, uh, all of them, in, especially with the Cuban community, uh, all of them, they have uh, uh, schedules till 2020. So we're talking about from 8 to 10 months, and some of them has been rescheduled already. So we are talking about months or maybe year to, to stay there. So some people even, we are joking with a remain in Mexico, is a retain in Mexico, yeah. uh, because it's more than remain, it's a retain. So we are in crisis there because uh, uh, the Ciudad Juarez has not the capacity to receive uh, uh, more than a thousand people per week and uh, the Mexican government is talking about 3,000 people per week. So yeah, they, they, they will be there probably around 10 months to one year waiting for their appointment to their interview. So uh, the humanitarian crisis that has been unfolding here on this side of the border is still happening, but now it's happening in Juarez. And uh, thanks be to God for the Anglican Communion and our mm -hmm. partnership uh, with Padre Hector mm -hmm. and uh, the, the Anglican churches of the Diocese of Northern Mexico. Uh, and for you, thank God for you and the work that you're doing in a direct partnership uh, with Padre Amen. Hector, every day you're back and forth across the border yeah. trying to help the people in need. So we we are so proud that uh, the, the Episcopal Diocese of Rio Grande is having presence, hands on in this uh, humanitarian crisis and this spirit of sharing one faith, one Lord, one one Christ. We share this with uh, uh, the Anglican uh, Church in, in Juarez, and um, they are so grateful. They are praying. We are having a lot of meetings. Uh, even with the city of uh, Juarez, the civil mm -hmm. government, uh, we are we are doing a lot of work. Thanks for your support, Bishop. Thanks for the support of all the people in the diocese, or all people who will see this brief video. Jesus said, whatever you do to the least of these, you do that unto me. And that's all we're trying to do. So God bless you, and let's keep the faith together. Amen. Thank you.